For those of you that don't know, I am most definitely, definitely not a morning person. And I had to wake up pretty early in order to <laughs> play, in this, play in this team tennis format, which is definitely going to be fun. First match is at 9. It's at a town called Nina, Wisconsin, which is about an hour and a half away. And I want to get there early to warm up, so I woke up around 6.15 this morning with Brian to drive because his car is a lot more durable than my Mercedes. And obviously I'm going to pay him for gas and stuff. And I want to get there early to warm up because I'm a slow, uh, I'm a slow person when it comes to not only mornings, but also playing tennis. So hopefully we can hit for about 45 minutes before our first match actually starts. So he should be waiting for me in the driveway. Morning, dude. Good morning. All right, we're gonna get you some damn coffee. Is what we're gonna do. Oh, yeah. My oh, man. Do you need help with anything? No. It's okay if I just leave it in the back seat in case I need to reach for yeah. camera stuff. Yeah. Oh, you had Mickey D's. I got yeah. If you want a burrito, there's no, no, four no. in there. Just four God. burritos. Yeah, there's. So apparently, I've had a pretty good influence in my tennis local community. In the Milwaukee area, just eating like utter crap on a fine morning tournament for team tennis. So, there you go. <laughs> four burrito, breakfast burrito McDonald's from, four breakfast burritos from McDonald's to start the day. I don't know what's worse, that or Taco Bell. Quarter to six. I've just been running around. Quarter to six, five forty-five. So you are truly a morning person. Yeah, no, I just I literally just popped out of bed and was just like, well, let's go play tennis. Well, do you typically shower? Yeah. When you okay, is that like your ritual to wake up? Mm -hmm. And then it's made coffee, but I didn't get it, so I went for the fine McDonald's coffee. The one right next to your house in the gas yeah. station. Yeah. And I was just like, you know, we need breakfast burritos. <laughs> I'm still full from last night. I had a lot of tacos. I'm still feeling a little bit bloated. Yeah, actually, breakfast burritos is one I used to do during before uh, high school tennis tournaments. Oh, when you would actually play? Yeah, and I used to just go. I just feel like I just need something that fills me up. It's semi tasty. It has a semi large amount of protein and something else in it. And I'm just like breakfast burrito. <laughs> Spoken like a true doubles player. Yep. I think singles players need to eat like a yogurt, a banana, and a half, and like a Red Bull or something like that. So. High school tennis is going to be weird for you. A little bit, a little bit. Is the season cut short? No, season's supposed to be the same. Um, we're not, uh, I don't know, I don't know where this rule comes from, so we're only allowed on the court now twice a match, it sounds like. Is it because of the regulation? Yeah, with? just okay. because of COVID and all that. Um, so, we got to pick her. It'll probably, be, like, in between sets, you're allowed to come, you know, obviously out and, uh, and talk to the kids because they're supposed to have a five to ten minute period in between them. It never, yeah. it never happens, but like in between those, any of the, the changeover games, we have to pick uh, two specific ones, it sounds like. My truck, my burr, my dog. <laughs> That's what I think of country music. We are now arriving at the hidden capital of all the Midwest, Oshkosh, Wisconsin. And now we are leaving the hidden capital of the Midwest, Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Yes, it was that quick. Drive so far is probably the best drive you could probably ask for. Quite smooth, quite smooth. Very smooth. Smooth unlike the tacos I had last night. Those are delicious. Oh, they were, they were great. They were, they were good. I love that place. Yeah. Bar tab was 118 bucks. I'm like, oh shit. Okay. <laughs> this is where my teaching money is going. 
So in case you guys don't know, um, any tennis coach out there, they definitely go to the bars. It's, it's just a thing. There's, if there's a tennis coach out there that says that they don't go to the bars after tennis lessons, especially on the weekends, they're lying. It's just a fact. Or what? 30, 20 minutes away? Yeah, 15 minutes. 15? That's it? Wow, that was quick. That was very quick. And just driving straight. That's quicker than Sloan Stevens' exit in Australian Open of 2021. <laughs> Dude, she was number five seed or something like that? Yeah, that's, that's the thing about the women's draws, is it's so up in the air. Outside of like Serena and Naomi, and like maybe Callum. And she's getting older though. Like, yeah. And because she's very, well, she's five foot two, yeah. she just grinds it out and like, yeah, that's not good for your body. Good luck lasting that long. I wanted Shea Su Wei to win so badly. I don't even know that one. Uh, it's in Taiwan or Chinese Taipei? It's one of those. Two handed forehand? Oh, nice. He's like, yeah, I'm cheering for this girl. The real question is does she do the two handed overhead? No, she doesn't do the two handed overhead. That's a missed moment. Should I do the two handed overhead today? If, I don't we're, if we're beating these kids just to death, yeah, let's just go do a two handed overhead. Disrespect. <laughs> Absolute disrespect. <laughs> We made it, guys. Valley Fitness and Racket. Home of the Nina Tennis Champions. I don't know, I just made that one up. <laughs> but it's uh, 45 minutes until start time. So let me get warmed up with Brian. Hopefully we'll kick some ass. Well, that's a missed moment. They could add 420. Oh, they're 300 off. Nice. No more talking about it. The way it is, the way it is. It's no mystery. There's no getting around it. When you're here, when you're here, we got chemistry. We light up when we ignite We are stars in a darkened sky When you leave Don't forget to remember Don't forget to remember
so you're probably wondering why I'm in a ballerina-like studio and not on the tennis court. Well, it's because the tennis court is actually being used right now. So the format for this tournament, which is labeled as a world team tennis type of format, is there are two girls, two guys per team. So a total of four. There are six total matches to be played. There is men's doubles, women's doubles, two mixed doubles matches, and then a men's singles and a women's singles match. All of them are eight game pro sets, no ad scoring unfortunately, and you play let's, which is kind of a BS rule, but it is what it is. No bending the rules on that one. So unfortunately my team did lose, not by much, it's by total games. I think we lost, I think like 36 to 38. I'll check the math later. I'll leave a score down in this section below once I double check that the math is right. So we lost against a young team from a local high school in Nina. And then our next match is in about a few hours against an older team. They don't nearly look as strong or as fresh and that's perfectly okay. But you guys have to understand when it comes to both mixed doubles and any type of team tennis tournament, especially if the two sexes are on the same team, it's more fun. And a lot of you people out there take tennis very, very seriously. But I would argue that if you take tennis super seriously, and if you're an adult 18 or over, you should really learn to be able to play in a mixed doubles or a team tennis situation. Because at the end of the day, there's a very small chance you're actually going to go pro in this sport or any other sport out there. That's just the reality of things. Learn how to have fun. Relax, smile, even if you miss a second serve at the bottom of the net, like a Zverev, when the second serve is going like 69 miles an hour. Nice. You gotta learn how to laugh it off and not take yourself too seriously. I'm not saying that you should not be taking tennis seriously, as you should, but you gotta learn how to laugh with yourself and you gotta understand that winning isn't everything. Incremental improvements, enjoying yourself, having a good workout, and most of all, networking, with people that are slightly above or slightly below your ability level is gonna be a much more valuable skill than learning how to hit a forehand down the line when you're on the stretch. Learning how to network is going to be a very, very valuable asset for anybody watching this video in your life. So while you're playing tennis, while you're having fun, while you're acing, while you're double faulting, while you're slapping return winners, Lighten up a little bit, have some fun. And most of all, spread your love and joy for the game with the others around you. I'll check up with you guys after my second match. So fortunately in the second and last round of this world team tennis tournament format, we absolutely dominated both me and Brian in singles slash doubles, and then Dale and Michelle were playing very well in the mixed doubles portion of that tennis tournament. Unfortunately, we lost the championship because it was based on games by only one tennis match. So we ended up taking second place out of three. So it was still a really good experience. It was a nice Saturday. Um, it wasn't the whole weekend, thankfully. So if you guys have ever played any type of team tennis or world team tennis format tournaments, please leave a comment down in the section below. And if you guys haven't yet, I highly suggest you try it. It's a very lighthearted, yet still competitive social aspect to a sport that we all know and love. Click like if you enjoyed this vlog and hit subscribe for more original tennis content. And if you haven't already, check out my Discord for like-minded tennis folks such as yourself to talk about strings, tennis rackets, and other tennis-related content. And as always, happy hitting.